welcome to the Grace Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Uh, let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. Uh, there's some uh, traffic logistics problems going on in Baltimore right now. Uh, who you telling, man? That's crazy what's going on out there right now. Yeah, so uh, I can't believe that a giant ass ship wrecked into a bridge. It was like it was like an actual freeway bridge. Yeah. Like it's like the outer belt of the Baltimore Washington yep. area. Very, very high traffic bridge. Um it said thirty thousand cars a day or something go yeah, over it. So yeah. not to mention shipping lanes. Through. Exactly. So, so double yeah. double whammy on logistics. So that whole port look, area. Look. If you're if you're watching at home if, it, if you're watching, you can see on the screen right now how big this goddamn cargo ship is compared to the boat that's sitting next to it. If you're not, it's fine. But yeah. this was a giant ship. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it's, it's so weird that uh, what was the name of the ship that got stuck in that isthmus? Oh, I know. Yeah, I, I can't. Think. It was called like the Evergrande or something. Yeah, the Evergrande. It, it, it's so crazy that these giant ships are having these types they of even issues. Exist. Like you know how much, yeah, how much weight too. is on that like Insane. ship? It's just like car. There's hundreds of cargo containers full of wares. All Amazon stock. <laughs> is everything you. coming to our our house from Amazon? Oh, I'm sorry. Wait a minute. It's in Baltimore. We could probably guess what's in it. Yeah. Uh, Drugs. Baltimore. I'm thinking a bunch of Adidas jumpsuits. Drugs. Drugs. <laughs> um. So for all you that don't know, I mean, I'm sure you probably I do. Don't know. This this cargo ship crashed into this bridge and collapsed it luckily they were able to call mayday before so they they closed the bridge so there was minimal people on the bridge cars on the bridge it I did heard, happen at 1 30 in the morning as yeah, well i heard there was maybe seven people who were uh injured in it i think yeah well i said that, i think they said that there was like 20 workers on the bridge or something mm. that might be missing dead like whatever that's crazy people a couple cars that yeah. obviously went down that is like a terrifying thing that a bridge will go down and you'll fall in the water yeah. Because like you're more than likely gonna get knocked out from the impact of your car hitting the water, and then maybe the bridge landing on top of your car, like whatever you know, it's heavy. Yeah, and then just being like trapped in your car underwater is like yeah, that's crazy. You're, you're pretty much gone. Yeah, like it's because really... you ain't got a lot of time. Exactly. It's really crazy because the entire bridge is gone. Like he yeah, hit... it's not just a section. He hit the center of the bridge. The entire bridge. Well, is Well, yeah. If he wouldn't have hit. The uh, I should see if I can find these. Can't, the can't think what it's called. Uh, the support beam is essentially what they hit, mm -hmm. and of course it collapsed. So what? Uh, uh, and they said, I mean, they don't think it's terrorism or whatever. They think it's literally a ship malfunction or whatever. I don't know, man. Well, I'll tell you what happened. I had a friend sent me a a link in, in text message, and it said ISIS claims responsibility for bridge attack. And I was just like, oh, that's wild. And they were like, no, you should really read the article. It's sad. And I'm like, okay. And I clicked the link, and it was a picture of a naked guy. And I was like, what? You so they, they dick rolled me, dude. They, oh, no. It was like, it was it looked like a real link, and you click it, and it was just a picture of a guy with his penis out. I was like, you what son of a heck? bitch. What the heck? I was like, why did this happen? <laughs> that's not cool. Yeah, I was like, I was like, oh, you rick rolled me. Oh, my God. So... Uh, with this bridge, um, it is going to take people about another hour and a half to, to three hours to, to get to their destinations using a uh, alternative. Depending routes. on what side of the bridge you lived on. Yeah. Um, it looks like, uh, Joe Biden has uh, said that the American government will be paying for the entirety of the bridge. And I mean, it's kind of, I think that falls under their jurisdiction anyway. Right. Uh, I don't know. I have no idea how bridges are protected or not, but uh, because this is like the city wouldn't be able to afford to put up a new bridge. Nah, they have to raise taxes like oh yeah, so high. Yeah, well, and well, here and here's the other thing is um, there's the the shipping pathways are blocked, so they're gonna have to clear a lane for for ships to go through first because mm -hmm. they can't just stop the the ship traffic. So they're gonna have to like the number one priority is probably getting a some of the debris out of the way so ships can get through. Oh, yeah. So cleanup is the first. Is the yeah, I mean, idea. and just cleaning up like one path to start, right? Yeah. Like cleaning up the one path, uh, cleaning up the the bottom of the lake because now there's a bunch of bridge debris yeah. underneath there. Not to mention vehicles, um, the dead if there yeah. if any. Yeah, like retrieving them from this. What is what is this? What body of water is this? 
I don't, I don't know. Probably the, the, the Atlantic Balt- Ocean. No, it's Baltimore. Aren't they the Atlantic Ocean? Yeah. Aren't they in New England? No, they're by Washington D.C. Isn't that near Oregon? Yes. Yeah. Maybe okay. Or- Baltimore, Oregon. <laughs> Okay, exactly, I got it. I can see it. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Bro, look, I don't know see. how it America's is. America's put together weird. Well, actually, right? it was it it is It's a bay. It's though. I mean, it's 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 the Atlantic Ocean, but it's the path of water that comes between uh Delaware and Baltimore. Whatever that. I don't know what I'm sure it's called something you oh, that, know, you know it's what? like a bay or something but honestly it's, it's the atlantic ocean until you said anything i thought that baltimore delaware it was all a part of new england so no they're south of philly i thought washington i thought philly was part of new england what do you think we were one quarter new england i don't know what, what? new england even new england is. is like massachusetts yeah. rhode island yes Vermont. yes new york city is philadelphia are in between that <laughs> baltimore yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. So either Baltimore. What? Wait. What's the B city that is in Florida? Then the B city. Yeah. The Ravens are there. There. The Baltimore Ravens are from Maryland. They're not in Florida. <laughs> oh no, they're not. Baltimore's always been in Maryland. Believe it or not. Okay. It's right next Maybe. to Washington D.C. What are the teams that play football in Florida? The football teams the, uh, besides the Dolphins, the Buccaneers. Okay. Tampa Bay, yeah. Miami Dolphins, Jacksonville Jaguars. That one. Jacksonville Jaguars? What's the other one? Is there another one? I feel like there's one more. There might be four. I'm just not. That's no. fine. No, that's I fine. think I think there's three. Okay. Yeah. I, was, I thought that Jacksonville was Baltimore. That's my mistake, obviously. I mean, they're close. Yeah. Baltimore, Jacksonville. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll admit that. I don't, I don't know America. All right. Fine. I don't know America, but I do know that this is a tragedy. I know that <laughs> it's going to be fixed. It's going to take forever. My heart goes out to the people of Baltimore, those who lost their lives or their belongings. Could you just, like, imagine, like, okay, so so think of, like, Austin. Like, and you're going into downtown Austin on 35, and there's a bridge that goes over the water. Bro. Imagine if that that bridge went out on 35. (laughs) I'd never go downtown again. No one will ever like. There's only yeah. It would it would just the traffic's already terrible. Exactly. Like, and you would have to go to the other freeway that crosses the water, or go through the city to get around it, or exactly. like whatever. It would delay forever. Everything. Everything. It was. It's very interesting because like, I have thought before like, if if like you know terrorists always are trying to like mess with stuff, and my and I've always thought like mm-hmm. yeah they want to take out like. The World Trade Center kill a bunch of people, but like they could cause so much hassle if like they were going after like bridges and stuff because just making everything delayed. I was like, that always was like, why do they not do something like that? And you hear about people thwarting plans of like destroying bridges and like whatever. It's like the um, it's like what are they? Call- <laughs> it's just like the annoying. It's like yeah, we ain't gonna kill nobody, but like it just causes a hassle for everybody. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. This is a little bit more than annoying. I don't know, man. This like, is like life altering for the I mean those people who people. live there. Like imagine you live just on the other side of the bridge and you work just on the you're like, oh man, ten minute commute to work. Like, nah. Yeah. You gotta go all, all the, the way, way through around. the city to all go back now. Around. And you know there's people that do that. They're like, Oh, I just live on the other side of the bridge. Mm-hmm. And they're like, How am I gonna get to work now? It's like hey, people are gonna start quitting their jobs. Like, you gotta find another job. I'm not I can't do that. Oh no. I, I ain't can't driving do that. all the way through the city to get to the other side of the city. It's no. not even the fact that now I have to drive through the, through the entire city. It's the fact that everybody has to drive through the city. Because now all the people that those 30,000 cars that were going that way are going all the way around the city. So it's going to take even longer because everybody's going there. It's crazy. It's insane. I'd move. I'd move. I don't know why people live in Baltimore anyway. That's no offense <laughs> to Baltimore. Like I said, my heart goes out to you. Because they had a bridge that went over water? Yeah, it's man. Like everywhere does. No. If your bridge is falling down, you need to leave. Right? <laughs> I mean, if if the Austin bridges fell down, I would leave. I'm gonna tell you right I'm now, never Jonas. Well, guess I'm never going into Austin again. I'm gonna tell you right now, Jonas, where the doorway is right here. Okay, I'm gonna dig a hole right in front of the door. All right. Okay. I'm gonna dig a hole. It's gonna be 25 feet wide by 25 feet long to get into the, the house. Yes. And okay. It's gonna be 25 feet deep. Okay. Are you moving? <laughs> <laughs> Where do you move? Are you like I, I can't live here anymore? And they're like, sorry, we got to keep the hole here now. 
But or they're not you could, telling anyone you got to keep the hole. Or would you walk around to the back door? Still got to hop a fence to get into the back door. Just walk it's, around. I forgot there was a back door. This I mean, is actually the bad example. Yeah, I, this like, this isn't gonna... is a, I would probably just walk around the back door for a while. All right. So your bathroom. All right. <laughs> I'm going to take the toilet out of it. <laughs> this is a terrible example. And now you have to go to the rental office to poop. Are you moving? Going to your bathroom. <laughs> Both of the toilets are gone in this scenario. In the this, this video's over. All right, that's all the time we have for this episode. Please go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. T and T. Uh, we have.